hemoglobin. So the first disorder that we should know is called as a myth hemoglobinemia. So guys, myth hemoglobinemia, why does it happen? You know, in this case, actually hemoglobin loses its ability to bind or transport oxygen. As we all know, guys, the iron in the hemoglobin has the six coordination number or the six valencies, right? And the sixth valency is actually binding the oxygen, right? So if you convert ferrous iron of the heme to the ferric iron, so that means oxidation has happened. So this ferric iron will not be able to bind to the oxygen, right? So that is a condition that is called as methemoglobinemia, correct? And how can you get this methemoglobinemia? Guys, this can be caused by certain drugs like, you know, Dapson, like Prelocane is a, you know, a kind of anesthetic agent, right? Prelocane. Then Dapson is a drug which can be used in leprosy, fine. And guys, there are some nitrites, nitrite compounds may be present in the water. And these nitrite compounds, you know, may also cause, you know, methemoglobinemia. That is acquired form of methemoglobinemia if it is consumed. Then methemoglobinemia may be caused by, you know, conditions which are present at birth. You know, there are certain mutations in the hemoglobin where there is the loss of which, which histidine, guys, what do you think? You know, which helps in binding to the oxygen? That is E7. Fine. So this E7 histidine may also be lost or replaced by some other amino acids. So guys, whenever this uh, myth hemoglobinemia appears, you know, we have a enzyme system in our body that is called as myth hemoglobin reductase, right? That's the name of the enzyme. And this enzyme uses NADH as a reducing agent, which converts the ferric iron back to the ferrous iron. So people born with this enzyme deficiency may also have myth hemoglobinemia. Correct guys? The color of the blood in a patient of myth hemoglobinemia will be chocolate colored, right? Now is, uh, let's talk about one more type of hemoglobin and that is called as HbA1c. So HbA1c is a type of hemoglobin which is present in the people normally, right? But its level should be less than 6.5%. If it is more than 6.5%, then it is a diagnostic of diabetes mellitus. So how it is formed? Guys, in the people with high levels of blood glucose, glucose can be added to the hemoglobin non-enzymatically. Okay, that is called as a glycation. Okay, so when it is added non-enzymatically, HbA1c is formed. So where it is added? It is added on the N-terminal valine residues of the beta chain. Mm -hmm.